Good afternoon, everyone. It's Brad at Yamaha Marine Center. We are on 1515 Wells Road. We share a building with our BMW and Ducati motorcycle dealership. There's our sign. You can see it right off of 295 in Orange Park. There's another sign, not ours. We'll start at my favorite part of the boat here, which is the bow. Big, beautiful Carolina Flare. Pursuit or regulators are made up in Edenton, North Carolina, which is why they do have that classic Carolina flair to them. Nice big windlass through stem, keeps it nice and tucked in and clean. Uh, does have a full chain road for 2018 2019 model year. This is a 19. Uh, it helps the anchor drop quicker, hook up faster, and kind of get a good idea of that big old flare here down to a reverse chine to help shed water kind of see that angled down on purpose and then lifting strikes on the big deep V let's move around the side of the boat this is the 28 which is from the bow to the aft bulkhead on the transom here nice solid boat um, the bracket and the engines add about another four feet so the boat is actually uh, geez, a little over 30 33, 33, 4, something like that. Beam is 9 feet 5 inches. Nice wide boat, 24 degree transom. Cuts to the water nice. You can see it down there. And you can see the difference between the bracket and the hull. And that is on purpose. The bracket is full of air, provides buoyancy, helps the boat float a lot flatter when you're out in the ocean, helps it to plane quicker. And then when it's up on plane, uh, gives it that nice step there from the hull to get you in the. Uh, clean water twin Yamaha 300s perfect power for this boat it's actually a rocket ship they use the same power on the 31 uh, ladder on the bracket here helps you get up divers and then once the engines are trimmed down this bracket is very very usable uh, transom door opens from the inside nice closed transom we're using the boat I'm slip in here and you can see that transom door closed transom Go here one by one on the insulated fish box. Nice big fish box in the back here. And then you have live well. Hopefully you don't run too many live baits because there is only one live well on this boat. Uh, transom seat folds out. Very stiff. Sturdy hardware. Makes for a nice ride on the way out or back in. And then when it closes, cushions are not exposed for hooks and things. And then you can actually use it for a tow hold out there. And then the door underneath here, latch to open, latch to go out. Fresh water shower, combing pads all the way around. Seat cover, we'll take that off. Bilge, I always like showing the bilge. Regulator does a phenomenal job of finishing their bilge, getting everything up out of the water management. Everything's nice and clean. As you can see in that uh, yellow substance is uh, anti-freeze for the fresh water. Those are the steering pumps. It is a Seastar Optimus system, so it's all fly-by-wire steering. So they use on all their boats, ground strap. Everything's easy to get to, easy to work on. Everything's finished uh, on both sides that you can see. And all the accesses are going to be finished and gel coated as well. Uh, nice fit and finish pieces and these are all uh, two-piece resin transfer molded and they pull them out and finish the edges So you don't see that resin red color through there or anything again fit and finish little touches um, all of the cleats Go through and down Keep the ropes out of the way uh, They pretty much consider this a six-piece construction boat from the hull to the grillage system, which is their stringer grid and then the deck the cap the console and the hardtop are all considered structural. Go ahead and pull the cover off here real quick. This is the standard leaning post on this boat. So you got some additional rocket launchers here, some cup holders, and then the tackle storage is great. Spools. Uh, plano boxes uh, for those medium drawers you got four large so we can load this thing up 
fishing machine. And again, standard leaning post, bolsters, flip up cup holder. They like cups, armrests, nice two-tone, and then the different color welting really sets it off. Uh, home cover, nice durable. I believe it's umbrella canvas they use. Holds up really well. You can see the helm. Tilt steering with the Edson power knob. Lenko trim tab switch. Yamaha gauges. Richie compass. All of your switches here. Electronic binnacle. And start stop. Give you a nice glove box right here. Stick stuff. You got USB access to the radio. Which is Polk. And it's the upgraded Polk. Oh, there it is. That's right. E box. Good stuff. Good sound. We did upgrade the stereo too. I think there's a subwoofer and all that good stuff on this one. Maybe. If not, it's still a good stereo. Uh, rod holders installed from the factory. We can do a bunch more of those if you want. Gas, fresh water. Stereo's again under gunnel. We got lighting all underneath the gunnel too. Fresh water. Spigot there. Our recessed handrail, which is really nice. Got good grip all around the boat. Go around this side. There you go, cushions. Yeah, I should clean that out. That's horrible. Uh, plug in backrest too. So backrest go up front. As you can see, everything's the same. Upholstery, nice big head, sink, holding tank. Uh, I think it's a vacuum flush head. Nope, electric, there's the controls there. Uh, Optimus steering control. Nice mirror up here, port light. Another mirror there for access to uh, different rigging. All your batteries and stuff are tucked nicely in here. Get a good idea of the way they build their boats. Nice clean rigging everywhere. Everything's tied up nice. All top notch stuff. And then the flexi teak flooring there too. Plenty of room for storage. I think you got some rod storage tucked up against the wall in there as well. You can see some more of that antifreeze in the holding system there. Another seat cover, which exposes the front seat, backer or uh, armrest. This flips forward to give you an insulated cooler up front. All kinds of insulated cooler space around this boat. All these boxes up here are insulated as well. These are not macerated though, they do, I believe, drain overboard. Storage there. And the advantage of having a deck and then a cap, see how big these boxes are, you feel kinds of fish in here, is you have a bunch of room underneath the gun for storage, accessories, more of those precious cup holders. More speakers, anchor locker up front with that windlass. There you go. Switch, control it from here or the helm. There's all that chain road. Beautiful stuff. Nice big shoulder on the boat, throwing cast nets, standing up there working fish if you need to. And then my second most favorite part of the boat is the big old coffin box in floor, macerated, rod holders are in there too, and they're built so well, the tolerances are so tight, listen to this, no slamming, alright, hard top, don't think we covered that, we did the powder coat package on this one, color matched, LEDs, so about the e-box, nice sturdy, no legs on the ground to stub your toes on. Overall, their best selling boat in the fleet. If you like any more information on this boat or any others that we have, like the 25 over there or the 23 over here, watch for those videos coming soon. You can get us at Yamaha Marine Center, 904-644-7631 or Yamaha Marine Jacks, that's jax.com and ask for Brad or Barton. Thanks so much, have a great day.